Welcome to Dr. Chester Runs, and I'm gonna rant about a couple of articles. <sighs> it's retarded shit and makes you lose faith in humanity. So, let's go. From the post to Milenio, Florida, school board members so honored to chaperone elementary school with you to... Gay bar. Do you remember back in the days in which they would tell us... Hey, guy, um, oh, guys, guys, we just want to get married. We are not coming for your kids. Mm, we just want to tinkle. We just, we just want to get a pee pee. Mm, do you remember when they said that? I'm pretty sure do you, you remember that. Because I do. And I fell for it. Yes, it's bad. But if you thought for a single moment that this is actually bad, um, the worst of all, well, you haven't seen this one from Post Millennium again. Investigation underway after Kentucky High School hosts drag pageant fe featuring male teens in lingerie given lap dances to staff. Yeah, I'm not making this shit up. What in the actual fuck were they thinking? No, 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 really. To the staff, I, I, I mean, didn't they think for a single moment and go inside of their goddamn fucking heads? Look, hey, this is absolutely fucking wrong. No, not even a tiny little bit. Not even once. Did it? Are you people fucking retarded to the point that you actually have to subject kids to this? Enough already. And on that note, you morons who like to practically base your entire personality on who you choose to fuck or shove things up your fucking bunghole, please stop shoving that shit onto kids. Yeah, thank you. Now, let's read the news from Florida School Board. You know, this one. A Facebook post from a Broward School Board member has revealed that a Florida elementary school took young children on a field trip to a local gay bar that features a sexual innuendo field menu. Oh, for the love of God. Really? I mean... No, 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 I, I, I'm trying to think the logic behind all of this, but uh, I'm having a bit of a difficult here. <laughs> Remember when they said they didn't want anything but just get married? Let's see. Big girl points, handheld foods, Key West Club, Big Pig Club, Turkey Lurkey. Let's see. And it says today's fresh mahi grill and seven uh, toasted brioche, brioche uh, roll, tried ocean favorite, occasion desire, wingman side. Oh, Jesus Christ. You know, this is fine for adults and people who want to go there, but uh, holy shit, those prices are uh, uh, a, bit, uh, a bit bad. Bit expensive there, people. Anyway, let's try. Oh, Jesus Christ, below sea level, above sea level, the left pool. Oh, the left. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, this is not a place you take kids to. I mean, I I'm trying to think of jokes about this, but, uh, uh, no. Was so honored to be invited to chaperone Wilton Manor's elementary field trip to the incredible Rosales. Mm, the students and I had a fun walk over and learned a lot about our community. <laughs> so, so, a huge thing. thank you to Rose's Bar and Grill for hosting the special field trip every year. I, wait, every year? Are you. Are you shitting me? 
Now, when I bet these morons will get triggered as soon as somebody says, hey, let's have a field trip inside the church and go and pray. Yeah, and, yeah I don't think they will be happy about that. I used to love field trips, you know? Because it meant a day without classes and a day I didn't have to force my ADHD or ADD back then. No. Yeah, attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. Yes, it's correct. Force my brain into paying the attention to classes, which I only lasted like, what, one, two minutes before my brain zapped out of its existence? But this is just not right. This is just not right, I'm sorry. Wrong. Leonardo posted photos of the trip, which depicted young children sitting in the restaurant with dozens of bottles of booze visible in the background. I think... I think this is the least of their concerns right now. Leonardo post was shared in the Moms for Liberty, Broward County, Florida Facebook group, where one person wrote, I remember when school trips were to Butterfly World, Bonnet House, or the museum. Yeah, I do remember those things. I remember that the most egregious thing that I, we ever did in a field trip was actually taking less than privileged kids uh, to enjoy a few fun, uh, a fun trip to, you know, chaperone them. We were teens back then and we took, what, five, ten year olds to play you know, in those places where kids go, you know, fun houses and things like that. I didn't like it because I hated chaperone someone. Because I actually had to chaperone myself and paying attention. Uh, not get distracted, but Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, what the fuck? Anyway. Uh. School board member Sarah Leonardi accompanied Wilton Manors Elementary School on a field trip to an alphabet bar. The post continued, noting that the sexually suggestive pun filled items on Rose's menu, such as naked, sweating, loving, rode a cowboy, even a hooker. That felt painful. More ways than one. Young grunge hand and the left one, called sometimes the left ones, are bigger. Rosie describes itself as a tropical oasis for the alphabet people and allies. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, Press Secretary Christina Porchal, posted about the incident on Twitter Thursday morning, writing Brown One School Board the member takes little kids to a gay bar on a field trip, forcing them to wear masks to keep them safe. Yeah, at least they wore masks. I thought all kids and most of the staff were wearing them. Yeah. If it out was one workers, Rosie did not Ah, of course. They didn't. Neither Bone World School members not. Leonardo immediately responded to a request for comments. Motherfucking Christ on a pickle. And then we have this from Post Millennium again. This one is from the the Kentucky situation. They sent, um, they have an update on this, how the independent schools uh, schools have released a statement regarding the viral photos, and this is their statement. I don't think this was proofread. My apologies, but I don't think it did. Official statement regarding homecoming activities late in evening, in the evening on October 26th, 2021. I was, I was, see, that's exactly what I mean, it wasn't proofread. Yeah. And they try to make a lot of excuses that they will not uh, they will not see this. They'll not explain much, suffice to say. And here it is. In today's society. Ah, let, let me this. Also training will take place on Polos. Well, uh, no. Uh, also training will take place on policies and procedures without the strict 
stuff and I'll speed the arm to ensure this doesn't happen again. So, using this as a teachable moment, we will provide social media training for students and staff. Ah, in today's society, students must understand that anything posted online is permanent. Mm, it is there on public display for everyone to see and share around the globe. Uh, we will hate to see a single year full discretion haunt one of our children for the entire life. Well, you probably should have thought about that before you allow this to happen, you fucking imbeciles! Uh, we will hate to see a single. No, 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 We have a dress code that is to be followed at all time. No! If you actually have a dress code, why didn't you. If it was apparent that it was not in this case. <sighs> I didn't notice. I'm oh, sorry. I wasn't paying attention. But we'll ensure that it will be enforced in the future. You know, skills and activities. Mm, for males and females. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus Christ. Holy moly. Holes. Hated in hell and in heaven. Oh, dang. You actually did only use two genders, males and females? Oh, damn bunghole! Oh, damn the goddamn dick in the goddamn fucking bunghole! Holy shit! <laughs> I'm surprised they didn't actually get cancelled for that one. Because they only use two genders, males and females. That's actually a worse crime than actual genocide committed by socialists. Anyway. Uh, the, the costumes will be revealed for appropriateness in addition to being required to meet the dress code. Uh, any costume referencing drugs or alcohol you also be strictly prohibited. Anyway, the, uh, an investigation is underway after photos surfaced on social media depicting homecoming events on the Kentucky High School where male students partook in a man in pageant. Pageant? The male students seeing the photos taken hazard high school homecoming week and took festivities on Thursday wore scant clothing, including women's lingerie. Lingerie? And gave staff members boobs. Uh, uh, something from us. Anyway, uh, in the gymnasium, according to Career Journal. Mayor of Hazard, Kentucky, who is also principal of the Hazard School, held an assembly with a male pageant. Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm not even going to click on these pictures. and I'm already disturbed enough. And I... Uh, no. Students reportedly took part in my costume. <laughs> the photo showed the students giving a lap dance to Hazard High School. Principal, don't know, a happy... Oh, Billy. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, I'm sorry. I am sorry, but I think this is the possibly the worst possible moment to actually have a nickname or a, a, um, a handle. Happy. Don Happy. A bunch of kids. Even a lap dance. This high school principal who goes by the name of Happy. It's as if. Dude, dude, I'm sorry. Babylon B, you need to step up your fucking game. You need to step up your fucking game because reality is outdoing your parodies. Jesus Christ. Mumbelini is also mayor. Oh, oh, Jesus Christ, he's also the mayor. Oh, mother of God. Mother of God, damn fucking God. Jesus fucking Christ. Now the photos removed from the athletics page where the photos were first posted showed female students dressed as hooters, waitresses, and students and staff reportedly appearing to paddle. Oh, for fuck's sake. It's like it just keeps getting worse. Wait, this is from, from the, oh, Jesus Christ, this is from the school. Oh, I thought this was just some random image or ad. It says advertisement, so this is partially due to the, my ad blocks. So he doesn't dox me? Oh, good. Oh, for fuck's sake, it just keeps getting worse! Ah, other photos removed. Uh, okay. Superintendent of Hazard Independent School, Sunday Combs, told the Courier Journal that the district has a tradition of excellence and academics and everything. Oh, for fuck's sake. 
stop digging yourself even further because this is just bad. Just say that you're going to fire everyone responsible for this and call it a quits. Kentucky <sighs> law provides that school district superintendents are required to report that instances of educated misconduct. If an investigation finds an certified educator likely violated the Kentucky Educator Code of Ethics, yeah, you don't say. If any citizen of the Commonwealth feels that the Kentucky Educator Code of Ethics was violated by a certified educator, they can also file a complaint with the EPSB. Normally, the, the principal happy... Oh, Jesus Christ. Happy mob! Uh, Pretty dad gun district, so that surprises me unless someone pulls something out of a hat. Size more. Oh, Jesus Christ, size more. <laughs> it's like I'm goddamn fucking reading a goddamn parody. The kid comes to school with a short dress, you know, it makes them go home and change. Yeah, no, that's it. I can't do this anymore. And, you know, I even had another article from Not the Bee. I can't do this. Yeah, there's a limit. Mm -mm. Anyway, my sanity needs a rest. Anyway, uh, if you like this type of content, stay right here on youtube.com for slash of the chest. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell button if you want to see me die a little every single day. Uh, God. I need to have a haircut. Anyway, where was I? All right, on that bombshell. Have a great fucking night, because I definitely won't, after I am reading all of those shits. I definitely won't. Hope you do, but I won't.